Hi guys and welcome back to another Football Manager episode. Last time out, we lost our last game 3-0 to Arsenal, but we got through to the Carabao Cup final. Massive result for us. Everton up next away in the league. Big game because if we win, we overtake them and we start to look at safety already. 28 points, we wouldn't need too many more until we're safe. And Leeds have beat Man City with a 90th minute goal, which isn't good for us. And Eric Garcia scored against them as well. He's like, yeah, that's not good. What else happened? Fulham, Palace. Fulham got a point somewhere. Yeah, against Sheffield United. Palace lost 4 2. Nice. Bournemouth won 2 1. But I'm not too concerned about Bournemouth and Palace at the moment. 12 points behind with 14 games left for Palace. And, you know, 14 behind with 14 games left for Bournemouth. Hopefully they're not going to come into the picture. Big game here then. Away at Everton. Away. Calls for a counter-attack. Am I overthinking the hell out of this? Yes. I would, I would say yes. So we're going to revert to a four at the back. Oh, with Central Field attack, Arezzo up front, Sterling at full work. Oh, Sterling at full work. Grigisic can come over here and be replaced by Alcaraz. He's a good right, but not really a good left. He is a good left, actually. Four and a half star inverted winger. We'll definitely be taking that. Four and a half star there as well. Yeah, this looks like a, like a team that could do some damage. So, we're going to go for it happy with that team let's hopefully get a good result here a draw one all of rezo missed a penalty as well late on but i'll take a point in that you know counters the point that fulham got so six points above safe uh, above relegation still so you know we will take that definitely brighton away next as well so another away game I think we're sort of just racing to 35 points. We need 9 points in 14 games. 3 wins in 14. Hoping we don't have a tough run in, but... I think we have played a few of the... Top sides that have normally beat us. Although we've got Brighton who is 7th and then Chelsea who are 5th. So maybe not. Baxter looks good. Okay, away at Brighton. Go the same. Got us a point against Everton. On the road again, so... Counter-attack and we lose 1-0. And we did not play well at all. And Simic was a player we were after before, but we didn't have the funds to get. Maybe the counter-attack doesn't work too well. And it's deadline day now, so, you know, big, big day if we had anything to do, but we don't really. Attackingly, I'm not sure how happy I am. Could probably do with a new centre-back as well, but, yeah, I'm not sure. Really not sure what to do. What was that? Sesco rumoured to be going to Atletico for 90 million. There was someone else as well. Ferran Torres, 93 million. Imagine if Man City raised up those sort of funds. Edouard to Tottenham for 88 million. Is he really that good? Curtis Jones to us. Why? Why would we want Curtis Jones? 
I mean, he looks alright, but I don't, I don't really see why he's been linked to us. How much money do we actually have? Nothing. Okay. Realistically, we've got th uh, three million to spend. So I don't even know what I'm looking, but. Could we? He wants to come to us on a loan move, but it'll cost 2.9 mil. Maybe not. Hang on. What's his potential? Have we have we got that? No, we don't have that down. If I, if his potential was five star, like definitely, then I I'd probably go for it. But people are trying to get Tiago. Thirty three years old. I mean, he could do a job, but we don't need any sentiments. And he's on very high wages. Calvin Stings, 88 million. 74 million Dakar to Porto. What are these? These fees? People want Giovanni on loan. I'm not sure that I'm willing to let him go. Although Alcaraz is cover, but then he's cover for centre mid and winger. So if we get any injuries. We're a bit screwed. But he will be getting some very good experience. Forest is a no, they're not even offering any money. Let's have a quick look. Our winger positions. Sterling can play there and we've got Williams as well. How's uh, Matthias Franca doing out on loan? Hmm. Alright. Winger options. So Giovanni would be going. These two out on loan. Lima, who we also want to go out on loan. Trejo, who we want to go out on loan as well. We've got Villalba, who can do a bit of everything so Villalba is obviously an option to cover I think we should get, get Giovanni out on loan I'll accept it asking price is very low he's unhappy 24 years old 4 star I mean if we had the money then I'd be tempted but we don't have any money so what's the point Uh, Simmons to Charlton for 1.8 million. Interesting. Um, oh, is Simmons ever going to get into our team? He actually has some pretty good stats, but he's 23. I think if he was about 21, I'd be tempted to keep him, but I might want to let him go oh a million a month that'll be a bit overkill that's not enough Balogun contract offer oh he's gone he's gone hasn't he oh no he's currently on loan Balogun's only worth 2.4 million. He's a he's a player. That's a big surprise. One and a half? Oh well yeah, this is still worth it no matter what. That is that is beautiful. He's twenty three years old, he's got some good stats. Us and Lazio are interested in him. Dave offered nothing because they've had the option to get him on a contract offer and we haven't. Not too sure why. Our performance in the league is concerning and he's not interested. That would have been such a bargain. Uh, only four star at his best, so it's fine. We're apparently after Joe Carvalho for 11.5 million because we have that sort of money. 
I did see someone on here that I was interested in. I can't remember who it was. Just saw a Brazilian from the Brazilian league and thought, oh, that could be quite good. But no, let's look at our scouting. Could be a good goalie in the future. Assignments. We got any reports here? A striker, João Pedro. That's useless to us. Okay. Oh, he's already four star. A left back playing in the second division. That would stop Salomon's potential, though. Oh, they're all, yeah, they're all left backs. Winger, wing back, and attacking mid. He's 24 years old, so he's the oldest of them all, but he looks good. He can play left back, centre back. Is that a bit better for us at the moment? But, well, it's too expensive. It looks like a good option, this Lucas Piton. Can do a bit of everything really. Best at a three and a half star left back. What's well, a good tier is, is he actually just a four star left back? Yeah, and for that sort of money. Okay, he would fail. Piton. Piton long. No, it would fail. Uh, Aaron Hickey, the Scottish man. No point. We've already got Salomon. Uh, Balligan's going. Doesn't look like we're going to get any any business done here. Apparently, we have to Marlon Romeo, the right back from Swansea. That's twenty nine years old. Nope. He's not in our philosophy. Uh, there's another player here, striker, two star. Can't sign too many. There's a centre mid that can also play attacking mid and striker. That's a Phil Foden regen right there. Well, apart from the fact he can't play on the wings, but you know. I'm quite tempted, but. I leave it for now. Uh, we didn't look at this assignment. Currently, a three-star attacking mid that can be five-star in the at the end of it all. Sounds pretty good to me. Hmm. Happy to play pay instalments, but we want Okay. Norwich are playing against Burnley and Norwich have just taken the lead. Massive points for them. They have to win this or they're relegated. Uh, right, so, what are we looking for now? Just want to look at the player search, to be honest. We've got assignments that we could do. We haven't got an assignment for South America, which is what we had previously. We want to be looking in South America for people of age most 19 that have scatter potential ability as star. Sure, uh, player search, right. 
First of all, is there anyone that's transfer listed that is interested in us? Again, youth is key. But he wouldn't really cut it. Holly McBurner. And loan listed that's interested in us. Moise Sosado, Zinkanagel, Francisco Conceição. I wonder what his potential is because he's a pretty good young player. I watched him in some tournament before, I can't remember what it was. But he was he was good. Contract ending. Can't offer him a contract though. This is Palistri, but he's just really not turned into the player that he was expected to turn into. Good players here. Yeah, it's pretty well rounded. Available for a loan. That sounds good to me. And there was Conseil Sow as well. Who, to be honest, if it's a cheap loan, let's get him in anyway with an optional future fee. Yeah, 125k. Sure. Let's go in the middle. <laughs> yeah, they're very adamant they want 10.5 million. Uh, that'll do for it to be fair then Milambo is interested you're not going to be a star player I'm sorry squad player recommended but he wants to be star I was kind of worried that wouldn't work have to give him star player which is a bit frustrating because he's not going to be that 30k no minimum fee release clause oh, sure um, Lazaro they've accepted, Conte South have accepted uh, Huddersfield are they still in the Championship? Yeah, okay, mid table championship. Uh, I'd love to get a bit more money for him, but we do need to get him to go for his development. Can't say so, three star could be five and a half. Palistri, if we could get him on a on anything, but the work permits the issue. I know Lazaro, three star potential of a four star. Do we want Lazaro then? Well, he looks well rounded, but. I guess if it's on a cheap loan, then it. You know, we can send some of our actual loan players out on loan that aren't getting game time, and these loan players can be our backups. So it does work. Lazaro work permit application failed, okay, doesn't matter. Milambo granted one though. Anthony Milambo. She was promised that he'd be a star player, but I'm afraid he's not going to be a star player. Alloyed. Conte Sales didn't work either. Offer him to clubs on a loan for yeah. Uh, okay, 
Okay, so we didn't manage to get those players. We've got an attacking mid though, so that's all right for us. No offers from Alambo. Willing to play about 70%. I know that means I could potentially get 70% but last time I tried this they just said nah now we only want 60% so I've put 60% on instead no offers offerings are willing to offer 30% okay okay really wanted him, it wasn't a panic boy. Okay, player expenditure. We're not bottom anymore. Well, we, we are joint on a mill, but... I mean, that's not a good thing, really, but still. It's, we've been on the bottom, a lot far on the bottom for so long in terms of player expenditure. And next, home against Chelsea. This is a big one. Sixteenth, six points above. But they've got a game in hand on us now. Fulham have got Wolves today, Leeds have got Southampton, and they're both at home. And we've got Chelsea. This isn't a good position for us at all. Giovanni didn't end up going out on loan. That's a bit annoying. Uh, Romero, Williams, Pedersen, Giovanni, Lima, Grudzic, Villalba. Let's get Lima off. Where can Malambo play? He can't play on the left, he can only play attacking mid. Okay, counter attack, go for this here. Home at Chelsea. And we lose 3 1. To be expected. How did the others do? You haven't played yet. Everton lost, nice. Leeds and Fulham need to not win, basically. Leeds didn't win. They drew, and so did Fulham. No, Leeds lost. Neres scored a last-minute goal, so they lost. Wolves scored a last-minute goal, so they drew. Well, right near the end anyway, so... That's nice. Away at Man City now, then Fulham, then Tottenham, then Liverpool. I thought all my hard games had gone, but... I guess... I guess not. That game against Fulham now means a lot at home. Palace lost 2-1, nice. Arsenal ended up getting Andre Silva, I think he was rumoured for about 70 mil or something crazy, so... That's a big lot of money. A white man see next, now we did win at home against the Man City in the first leg, but this is going to be a tough one, definitely. Brighton v Sheffield United. Sheffield United win to go 10th. Sheffield United 10th. Fair play to them. Brighton up in 7th, Villa 6th. Man City in 11th after 25 games really really struggle haven't they who have they lost to us Southampton Man United Fulham Everton Brighton Liverpool Arsenal Everton Leeds some games you would not expect them to lose in there I thought this season was going to go so well when when we beat Man City on the first game I thought oh my god we've just beaten Man City and now I realise why 
they're just not doing very well at all. Leco worth five mil, but his contract. That's not his contract with us, is it? It is. He's not interested because he's transfer listed. Okay, let's quickly. Oh, how do you untransfer list someone again? Why have I forgot this? Overview. Why the hell? Why have I forgot how to tra untransfer this somewhere? What's going on? I mean, normally in here. Oh, set transfer set. It's not normally. Oh, we can't set it at the moment because he's out on loan. So he's just going to end up going at the end of the season then because we can't change it. Send Pedersen home, he's ill. Malambo's ill as well. Liverpool v Man United. Liverpool win 5-1. Man United were second. Well, they still are. But Liverpool are ridiculous on this game. They're literally unstoppable. Although I think they've lost twice, but it's just crazy how good Liverpool are on this. Peter Polak's finally back properly. Left back slash centre back. Could have done with going out on loan, but we couldn't get him to go. Milambo backs, FA Cup match. Eight days until this away game at Man City. Rest some players. Brian scored two goals. Well done, Brian. Nico Williams injured. Three to four weeks. Okay, so... We're currently sitting on cautious. I know we should probably be cautious against teams like Man City, even though they are 11th for some reason. But I think it is having a negative effect, not at least being balanced. Because it's like we're sort of expecting to lose, and that's not a good mindset for the team to have, even if I can have it. I'm not supposed to obviously show that. So... I'm not sure how I can really play this. Tino plays well as a centre mid. He's a good technical player, but Malambo. Patino play he can play attacking mid so well. And then I want Malambo to play attacking mid as an egg. Dribble less, hold position, take more risk with the guy. Uh, Sunich come up here and we're going to be balanced in our counter attack attempts or do we just ah stuff it custom Gagan press let's just let's give it a go let's give it a go sounds like a plan away at Man City how do we get on we lose 2-1. Oh, we, we did score right at the end, to be fair, so we were never really in the game. Sterling injured, 7-9 to nine games. Malambo made his debut. 5 without a win. Man City, Chelsea and Arsenal have been in that 5, but Everton and Brighton. Eh. 
hope to do better against them. We're 16th. Hasn't been a great season, really. After such a good start, we haven't really got going. Five points above the relegation zone, but they've got a game in hand on us, so... Not great. But we're going to go in this, Fulham at home. Patino hotly tipped for next-gen award. Nice. Lavi has been good for us. I think if we played a vertical tick attacker and we're very narrow, I think, you know what? I think this could work. We're going to be positive with it. Now, you know what? We're going to be attacking with it. Stuff it. Instant result. I think we can do this. Home against Fulham. Could be a new little tactic we have. And we win 4 0. 25 shots, 10 on target. Shuratire, Patino, Ilias getting two. That is sort of what you call a tactical masterclass. And it's been a while since I've had a good game like that. I've actually set the team up correctly and they've went and smashed someone that they should have really smashed. So, yeah, they've got a game in hand on us now, but eight points above the relegation zone. You'd love to see it. And that could be a tactic that we adopt, you know, for games to come. The next one is a big one, but we're going to leave it there because, you know, it's been a good end to the episode. Next episode, start off with that cup final. Hopefully we can do well in it, but I'm not expecting much. I think it's going to be another loss in another cup final, to be fair. But make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Football Manager content.